Today, we're going to be talking about the increasing interest rates that are costing U.S. taxpayers billions of dollars. Now, normally when we talk about increasing interest rates, that can be good news if you're a money market investor, if you're looking to buy bonds, those increased rates means you can easily make more money on your money. Now, when I'm talking about these increased rates, specifically what I'm talking about is the IRS imposing much higher penalties and interest than they were in past years due to those increasing interest rates. Because the penalties and interest have been tied to essentially short-term rates, which have been going up. And so most people are going to start getting surprises when those rates used to be relatively low, never fun to pay no matter what, but are now dramatically higher. So let's dig into these numbers specifically. If you look back 2019, as you'll notice, 2019 to 2022, the underpayment in penalties and interest paid by U.S. taxpayers was around $2 billion. Now, this is a lot of money. Okay, this is not something that we want to pay. But essentially, rates in 2022 were around 3% interest on underpaying your taxes. So what happened as we move into 2023? This number moves from under $2 billion to $7 billion in penalties and interest. Well, the reason is the rates that used to be around 3% for the interest on your underpayment have now moved to 8%. And so they've dramatically increased. And so what does that mean for the U.S. taxpayer? It means that in prior years, when interest rates were incredibly low, again, you, ne you don't necessarily want to underpay your taxes throughout the course of the year, but if you're being charged 3% interest, and keep in mind you have penalties on top of that, it's not nearly as painful as when those rates go from 3 to 8%. And so more than anything today and moving forward, as those rates are higher, keep in mind, talk with your CPA, talk with your financial advisor, and so you can get a better picture of the taxes that are going to be due over the course of a year, right? And make sure that you're paying the taxes that are needed so that way you don't get a big increase in your tax bill from the IRS. I hope you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for investing your time with the personal CFO.